This is one of the last pieces that I'm going to be doing for my sump board, you guys. Thank you so much for joining. It's a build video only, but boy, did I have some issues in the middle of this one. Thanks so much for stopping and welcome to Thanks so much for stopping by again, you guys. D here, trying to get a little more confident in front of the camera and my editing skills. As you can probably see, I've managed to do backgrounds and I've also managed to be able to do this. Or this, which is crazy. Now, once again, you know, I still don't know what the heck I'm doing, but I'm learning as it goes. Thanks so much for stopping by, and uh, here's the video. So, here we go. Got some foam, got some crates, got some plexiglass. Should be pretty simple. Oh yeah, that's right, I got this kill team, the old kill team box there. Um, I wanted to make sure that, well, actually, at this point, I was kind of running on autopilot. There wasn't a whole lot going on. Um, you know, so we're, we're going to get the bases done. And as, usually how this works is as this build goes on, I will get more ideas um, as it goes. It's not really something that is so planned out anymore. You know, I, I did all those plans and everything like that, you know, years ago. And, you know, we're, we're at the point now where we're kind of, I mean, on the fly. Yeah, that's something. Um, yeah, I, I don't necessarily know exactly. Um, you know, I, I, I'm working on it. I got to get, you know, got a schedule, got to be doing it. We're cutting things up, and now I'm spending a whole lot of time here just, wow, putting a piece of foam on here. And here we go, we got crates on. Not really that big of a deal. I don't know what to tell you. This wasn't doing it for me. I wish it was. Uh, yeah, I was stumped. So, anyways. Figured I'd just keep going. There wasn't really any reason to stop what I was doing, and all this stuff has to be done anyway. So we work on gluing on the gluing on the foam board, and then let this thing go for a little bit. You know, this was going to be a sump piece. There's no reason to, to hesitate, even though my <laughs> my ideas are kind of stumped right now as to how I'm going to actually make this piece because. You know, I mean, while, while it's really cool and everything to make a basic piece, this whole sump wall board has kind of been supposed to be somewhat, uh, you know, got some character to it, some storyline to it, you know. Um, and there's a lot of storylines going on it right now. This piece is supposed to go in between the sump tower that I built and the sump settlement wall. Uh, so I can effectively split it into two boards. And I, I got to tell you, it doesn't happen to me very often anymore. But I got very, very stumped. And that got me irritated. I actually had to take a few days off, which was why I didn't get a video out for you guys last week. Uh, it was supposed to be this one. And the best I could come up with was a rock with some, <laughs> some storage crates on it. There was no character. There wasn't anything. Um... As I said in previous videos, I am holding myself to a higher standard these days. It's, yeah, I didn't, uh, the channel's helping with that. My videoing is, you know, it, there's, there's been a lot of fans here and, I, you know, I appreciate every single one of them. And it would be remiss of me if I didn't push just as hard as I possibly can all the time. Um, yeah, so here we go. We're, we're laying the sump. I figured I'd throw some of this in here for you guys to watch while I'm trying to go back and forth with uh, the voiceover and maybe getting me in, into the, involved into this a little bit more. Um, 
Yeah, you know, and it's just super glue, or uh, sorry, uh, on this one, I was using Mod Podge just because it was easier to use. Um, it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's something to be said about how I have to get this stuff ready. But needless to say, I got an idea. And it came from my partner, Jay. Um, he said, hey, man, why don't you put another level on top of this thing and make it a couple of stacks? So I did some measurements, and that's exactly what I did. So here we go. We've got a little bit of everything here. Um, I, When Jay gave me that idea about doing that to the tile, um, I started all of the engines running again. Basically what ended up happening was I, I wanted this because I was going to use that whole zone or the, uh, the whole kill team box set. Uh, so there's four crates in there. So I figured uh, I could use two on the top and then two on the bottom. Well, the two on the bottom needed to have some character. So this is supposed to be a distribution center kind of a thing, you know, for the cranes up top, the one on the wall and the one on the tower. So I figured I could have one of them be a drop off point, you know, where you hand your papers off. And the other one was going to be something with character. Uh, well, I reached out and I got a few names for some places. Uh, we're going to be calling the other place um, Hobbies Sump Pies. It's going to be a breakfast stop for people on the sump. Um, yeah, it was great. But getting back to the video, you know, I didn't want a video that it was showing, I was working on the tile, not so much working on the crates. Uh, so we're going to throw some footage in here for you. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of magic going on. Yeah, I know. Here's the uh, the eclectic crate sprue from uh, Games Workshop. Yeah, I know. Uh, here we go. I'm, I'm cutting it. <laughs> for all of you who didn't know how to take things off sprues, uh, you know, going for the basic. Yeah, you want to make sure everything's in its own little pile. Uh, for when you're ready to work on a bunch of these. We're going to have a little bit of magic where these crates are going to magically come together. Oh my goodness. Then you got to add some details. There's, uh, you know, a guy called Rapid Tabletop who's not making videos anymore is where I got this idea from. And I had an old barrel stack in the back. I wanted to make sure that you guys uh, could see there's going to be some detailing on this. A lot of it's going to be with the paint. Again, this is just a basic tile filler. It's kind of ending ending this board. Uh, we're going to get to the assembly next. Yeah, and this is where you pull out the old E6000 glue. Um, I think in uh, Europe and stuff they use uh, a different brand of this but basically you're using this for a little bit more of a harder bond it might become apparent to some of you who have done things like this before but uh, these tiles and everything that I build and do has to get stored away has to get be able to be moved and handled um, so I like to you know start something like this with a little bit heavier duty or glue um the other thing to keep in mind is while this thing was used at some point at, you know right now it's just kind of well i suppose it could get used um <laughs> I'm kind of portraying it so it doesn't really get used. Um, but it was there. They're just too lazy to yank all this stuff down, you know. And at this point, somebody in the hive at some point will get around to getting this thing up and working again. But, um, you know, I, I, I want it to look like it's pieces and parts. Um, 
I, I think I added a few pictures in a couple of videos back, um, some of the inspiration that I get. And a lot of the inspiration I get for these tiles is from places in the world, pictures in the world, of places that are just dilapidated. Um, wow, I even pronounced that word right. <laughs> Crazy. Um, but being a build video, I wanted to work on some of my videoing skills here to try to get this to look like you know, from different viewpoints. Um, I actually did this with two different cameras and two different computers. Um, the first time for doing that. So there's hobbies. Um, yeah, some, some pies. Uh, it's gonna be a breakfast stop. That's the entire idea behind it. But of course, uh, now that the other stuff's glued down, things change and you try to figure out different ways to get what you want in there. Um, I think, yeah, as we're coming, yeah, right. So it, it just wasn't fitting very well. <laughs> I think I actually started in the wrong spot on the, the tile from what I found out later. Um, oh, wait, there we go. Inspiration. And, like I said, dilapidated. Um, not so much the, the, the breakfast stand at this point, but the other side. Yeah, we got that. That's good look, you know. So, I figured, what the heck, this is, yeah, that looks great. You know, stuff falling down. Uh, it, you know, it kind of should look that way, you know, if you want that dilapidated look. Man, I'm using that word a lot in this video. But at this point, it's time to put up a sign and then we'll add the details. Then we're gonna do a little bit of uh, other creative camera work that I've been hopefully perfecting, the pan shots of the tile. But to be perfectly honest, uh, I was ready to throw this whole project in the <laughs> <laughs> back in the pile of shame um, and because of you know a few people giving me a hand for uh, you know once again I'll lead it out with that word inspiration um, you know this this really came together um, I this is far more detailed than what I had planned obviously um, the making of this video has been something along those same lines i feel you know what the heck i'll just throw all all this garbage into one thing here i uh yeah here we go all right yeah this looks like i filmed it pretty good look at that all right not too bad close up somewhat in focus lit decently because the cameras are working so that's exciting yeah we got a few crates We're gonna have an open one yeah when i was gluing that up the doors fell off so we're just gonna leave it that way um then that's fine you know give a good spot for gangers to hide in yeah i think i'm getting better at this that's exciting stuff However, as always, you know, the piece isn't quite done yet. And as you guys probably noticed, it looks a little bit too rickety for one of my pieces, which means we're gonna have to add texture here. Those are gonna be coming up here in a second. And, oh, wow, yeah, this does look cool. <laughs> I'm so surprised with myself. But you know, that's how it goes sometimes when you're doing this stuff. Uh, it's, you know, you get stumped. I think the biggest thing to keep in mind is just, you know, stick at it a little bit. Um, something will come. You know, I, I had all kinds of garbage going on this week while I was doing all of this. Um, but uh, yeah, here we go. We're, we're adding the sand once again. This one's Elmer's uh, Elmer's glue, sorry. So PVA white glue um, and sand mixture. I'm, as you notice, I'm I'm slopping it on and I'm stippling, trying to keep some of the drips down. Um, 
like I said in the last video, you kind of want some trips every once in a while, especially on a board like this in the sump. You know, everything's, this is right down where the, where the bottom of the, <laughs> where all the water gathers. So it's, you know, there's gonna be some garbage going on on this, but once again, I like doing this part um, this just solidifies the piece up so you can just, you know, you can see it moving there while I'm doing this. Um, not that that other glue isn't hard, but, you know, it, I learned a long time ago, might as well just double it up. This doesn't hurt anything. It helps me put a texture down. And while it's all moving right now, once this dries, it's going to be pretty hard as rock. Um, very very pleased boy it's hard to see the sand in this uh right now so but we're gonna add some pictures at the end here um after i get done doing this part and yeah here we are oh yeah and it's hard as a rock too there's no doubt about that i mean it won't take a full fall but you know it'll be something for for you to you know to be able to place models on and knock a beer off of but thanks so much again you guys um this is a new video for me and i i for those of you that stuck around to the end here thank you for your patience um have a great night and as always please like and subscribe